Kemzik Park, the site of the little lady Camilla's abduction tonight, and the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. I wonder why our lady detective looks so dejected. At least she isn't dead. But what did she find? Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and made everything alright in the Justice Minister's family. And in this episode, we've arrived at the park where we've come to talk to Lynn, but she seems sad about something. So we're going to go ahead and fix stuff. At least hopefully we can fix stuff. Alrighty, so starting off here... Huh? What's he doing here? La la la, let me spend a moment's time with you, my love. The world will not end if the food delivery is a little late, la la la. A little late. It's already ice cold. Funny how this is the guy that I gave the Mario voice to, and I'm actually recording this on the day that the Mario movie comes out, so I'm super excited to go see that. So we make this guy swing harder, which will, I think... Okay, it doesn't throw him off, but this will allow us to get right on over here. Hold on. Alright, let me go ahead and see what Sissel's saying. Woo! I got this thing spinning pretty fast. I didn't even put much effort into it. This is quite a bit pow this is quite a bit of power and speed for a piece of playground equipment. I can just imagine all the poor kids who get sent flying all over the park. <laughs> uh I have I don't know if it's just where I live. I don't know that this is more a more popular thing in Japan, but I've never seen one of these things, the globes the globe climber over here. Then again at my childhood park we never had like a jungle gym or anything either, and I know that's pretty popular at playgrounds. Alright, how's it going, Lynn? Oh, there you are, Sissel. From your dejected expression, I gather, you didn't find what you were looking for? Right, I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else instead. Something horrible. Horrible? What is it? There, in the grass. You'd better see for yourself. It looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw it, and I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? Nope, I suppose not. Let's go ahead and help the poor guy. I forget what voice I gave you. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. You there. You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you. Leaflets I know you'll be very interested in. I urge you to peruse it thoroughly, examine it in detail. Never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name. My name. What does my name matter when there are more important things to worry about? Okay. Come now and study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching, but we are young. Look, I don't have time to get involved with your way of life, but I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back. Back to four minutes before your death. And so I made up my mind. I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. Okay, and what does that have to do with the Rock of the Gods you mentioned? You still don't appear to understand. It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet in great detail. Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. Eek!
I'm coming. Just hold on. I'll be right there. I've located the target, beauty. A girl of the right age, coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Yes, my dear, I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? Eek! Oh, gods, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. <laughs> what in the world? What just happened? Oh, that's Mino. Mino. Mino the mascot, the symbol of Temzik Park. Forget about the name of that big creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Yes, yes I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The powers of the rock of the gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. And then that same power very deliberately crushed you instead. Yes, yes, precisely. That is called the mischief of the gods. Was it the mischief? Was it the mischief of the gods, or was it a ghost trick? But nah, it couldn't have been a ghost trick. No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. But wait a minute. What if there was somebody with much greater powers than me? Look at that! There's another flame besides mine! Ooh, so that is the flame of a god, is it? But hold on, your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Yeah, so? Um, pardon me, but are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. At the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. It was probably that flame's doing. What could- who could it be? I definitely believe it's either a god or somebody god-related. Hmm, maybe I'd better try talking to this person. Might as well. What the? This person with much greater powers than me is... It's... It's... You? Hey! Sissel! Oh my, it's... Missile! You look well, for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it! I tried really hard and I did it! I saved Miss Camilla! Are you telling me I was done in by a puppy dog? Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked. After Miss Camilla went out and you left... I worked like crazy to make my own path and did it. And then I followed Miss Camilla out into the big wide world. And then, here at this park, I found her at last. Yes, you guessed it. I barked. You bet I did. And I went running after her too. And then I guess I died. And then I was unconscious for a little while. When I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crushed under that big, scary lump. Oh, oh, what have I done? 
I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss Camilla. I had to rescue Miss Camilla. It was up to me. I cried out for, from the depths of my heart. And then... I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Better than probably anyone else could. And I remembered what you did for me, how you saved me. So, you went back, right? Back to four minutes before the little lady's death? You bet I did. Yes, my dear, I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. <laughs> Now's my chance, I thought. I saw the core. I don't know, it looks pretty far. I stretched out my paw toward the core. Ooh, how I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Sissel. Go ahead and try it for yourself. I can't believe it. How could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. Hmm, and then you manipulated that Mino thing and threw it aside. Right on top of my head. Well, uh, no, actually. Huh? I can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. Y you can't? Then how did you- I didn't know what to do. Then I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And it had a core too. A single leaf hanging from a tree. I tried reaching out to the leaf. What in the world? I can't manipulate things. But apparently, I can swap them. As long as the two things have the same shape, that is. Swap things with the same shape. Go ahead and try it. Touch the swap button. That's incredible! And so that's how you saved your mistress, is it? And that's how I became caught up in this, is it? I'm very sorry. My powers were too meager. Meager? Because, you see, I saw one more. I happened to notice one more core. There was something with the exact same shape stuck in the branches of a tree. Hey, you're right. If Mino could be swapped against, against that, then disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head. But what is that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I'd pr much prefer it on my head than Mino. So why didn't you swap them, Missile? I couldn't. I can stretch out my paw a little further than you can, Sissel. But this was just too far for me. I couldn't reach. I must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of a death if I do say so myself. I keep retrying over and over, seeing if there's anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. Huh? If we work together, you and me. Cecil, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Do you think you could help me? Of course! Naturally! So, we're going to drop that Mino thing into a different spot. Okay, let's try it then. Let's go back again to four minutes before. All right, let's get started. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mino with the leaf. And then you have to swap Mino with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball. Okay, rugby ball, huh? But with a rugby ball where it is now, Missile can't reach it. So that means I have to move it closer somehow. Looks like you and I will have to work together on that one, Missile. Okay, I'm ready. Whenever you want to use my swap trick, just touch the missile icon. That way you'll be able to control me. And then if you touch the sizzle icon, control will come back to me. 
By the way, you can switch between us with the select, too. Select, huh? I'll remember that. Okay, let's try it. Together we can stop Mino from hurting anybody. Alrighty. Alrighty, so right now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to kind of be doing what I did for chapter 9 in which it took me like 20 to 30 minutes to actually get to the end of the puzzle and so I'm just going to show my best take and you can use that as a walkthrough. Meanwhile, I'm just going to be kind of commentating over top of this, giving like general thoughts and just going more in depth with it. I remember this was starting from this chapter onwards I always needed to use a walkthrough at least once per chapter uh, and I'm not the best when it comes to like puzzle solving and strategy games so sometimes I'm a bit slower when it comes to figuring stuff out and so sometimes you've just got to bear with me on that uh, but of course just like last time I thought that an extra 20 to 30 minutes of footage was just a bit too much, you know, in terms of me trying to figure stuff out. A lot of this is timed very tightly, and you have to do some very specific stuff in just a minute here, where if you don't time things at least pretty close to what they're supposed to be, then you'll probably miss uh, what you're supposed to do. So we want to go ahead and climb up this tree right here. We want to go ahead and, well first I'm going to have to spin that faster and then we can use the paper that attaches to the tree there to climb up to the very top and we can rustle this love letter here and that will allow us to get over to that umbrella which if we close it and then open it up again, that'll fall back to the tree the branch right there we open it up and now we've just got to wait and the reason that we have the basketball on the seesaw is because the weird park guy is about to jump onto the seesaw in just a second and that basketball will actually allow us to get the rugby ball or the football for Americans uh, down from the tree so he jumps right here the basketball is up there we want to go ahead and use missiles swap abilities to change around the tire and the basketball. This jostles the football down there. And there we have it. There, we moved the ball. What do you think, missile? Hmm, with the ball there, I think I can do it. In just a few seconds. You'll swap Mino with the leaf, and then from there you can swap Mino one more time. The final moment is near. Missile, are you ready? You bet! Alright, make sure you're playing as Missile. Attach to the rugby ball, or the football as we call it in America. Can't attach right now, but of course we've got to wait till it's falling. Two... One. He gets pushed. Mino falls down. Pass missile swaps it. Okay, watch me, Sissel. Here I go. The finishing touches. You can do it, missile. Swap Mino with that ball. There, how's that? My heart has been spared. Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods. And now Mino's right where you belong. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? Now nobody has to die, except for one brave little somebody. Huh? I'm talking about you, Missile. Oh, me? I guess you're right, I'm still dead, aren't I? So now let's go back and save your life. Wait a minute. What is it? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. What? 
When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Milo Camilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to, to protect Miss Camilla. And to do that, I need these powers I have now. I see. Perfectly understandable. Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course, you are right. Okay, Missile, have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give that to her? Certainly, you have my word. Let's go back then, to the present. And so Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my short story without saying anything. I'm sorry. I wish there was something else I could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure she's alright after all. After all, she has me! Missile, are you in there? Miss Lynn, leave Miss Camilla to me. I know I don't look like much right now, but I'm sure I can help her. Missile. Eek! Miss Lynn! I'm going to leave it up to Missile. Kinda looks like Missile is being left up to the wind. Ooh! I have something to give you! Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park, the rock of the gods! Aren't you forgetting your promise? Oh, pardon me, pardon me! My apologies, this is for you! Oh! You kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. Not at all. I was only doing what the Rock of the Gods would have wanted. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? He's mesmerized by my beauty. Hey, the cat's not allowed to get your tongue. Excuse me, but are you... No, it couldn't be. Have we met before? Aren't you... Aren't you that little girl from that time? I'll never forget it. That was ten years ago in this park. Ten years ago? Are you talking about... Have you met the strange young man before, Lynn? I don't remember, but he said ten years ago in this park. It could only have been one thing that, that I could think of. Hmm, looks like I'd better talk to Mr. Leaflet here. Here in this park, the gods surely control fate. Today, ten years from that day, we meet once again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is it? It could just be coincidence, but apparently you know our lady detective here. Could you tell us about it? What happened ten years ago? Yes, yes, of course. I was actually about to just do that. What's this Rock of the Gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. Missile. Wait a minute, you say gods, but do you mean dogs? Of course not, don't be silly. This is no time for ridiculous word games. You are standing just above the Rock of the Gods now. Take a good look at that monument. Monument? Rock of the Gods, Temzik Park. 
Rock of the Gods. The rock is buried here in the ground right there. It's been there these ten years. Ever since the day it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle. So this rock you've been talking about, is it a meteorite? Precisely. It dropped from the sky on that day ten years ago. Yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. M me That day, I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down and through the gloom. I heard the scream of a little girl. Eek! Now just calm down and drop that weapon. S stay back! If you come any closer, I'll shoot her! I peeked out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help, but I didn't move. The tension was just so thick it was painful, just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish-white. When it crashed into the ground, the meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it, one of those beautiful fragments, pierced into the criminal's back. The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. Ten years ago, the little girl that was you was saved by the rock of the gods. Oh my, I can't believe it. The Rock of the Gods was given the name Temzik, and still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. I I never knew about this Temzik. I always thought Detective Jowd was the one who saved me. You are very young then, and you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. But that's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's strange you never heard of it, Lynn. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news and I never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. The meteorite was named Temzik after the name of the pocket I fell in. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now an awful thing is happening. They're talking about turning the park into a housing site. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day, and so I've taken up residence in this park and I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park, the rock of the gods, that is my mission. I see. I'm taking you with me, Missile. So, ten years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteorite. I get that, but Detective Jowd, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Temzik thing. And if he knew... And that man died. I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? The Rock of the Gods that fell from the sky ten years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives, like the ripples on a pond when a pebble is dropped in. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we decide to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Jowd. We found the music box, Detective Jowd. Good job, Lynn. I knew you would. Once everything has been resolved, I had wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanello, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Detective Jowd. Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack to doing it, you know. 
See? Calls that a knack? Looks more like brute strength to me. Here you are. You should find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks? When Camilla built her contraption, she used a special kind of string. It's a kind magicians use. It burns up in an instant and disappears. Why would Camilla use something like that? I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. Ha ha ha. In the case report, there is mention of some scorch marks. When it happened, Camilla was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If you remove the picture, you should find some scorch marks behind it on the frame too. And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words... It proves the contraption existed there in that room that day. And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly. Some cowardly culprit modified the design. But that angle was never brought up in court. And so, as the Justice Minister, I must call off the execution at this point. I knew I was right. It wasn't Detective Jowd. Now we can finally prove that. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lynn. In those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. Hmm, what's the matter? I just don't know, what should I have done five years ago? Back then, nobody had any way of knowing the true nature of the manipulator. It wasn't anybody's fault that we didn't know the truth. Do you really think so? Of course, besides, what's important right now is deciding what to do next, am I right? She's right, Mr. Minister. Yes, yes, of course, I do believe she is. Hmm. What is it now? I just don't know. What should I do next? You'll figure it out. We believe in you. We don't have any way to talk to Lin over there, so I guess we just have Jowd left. Sissel, if you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I would be gone by now, without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. Tonight, I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and got involved in their fates. And the only reason I was doing it was to regain my own lost memory. But things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I just know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions in order to find out the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. Sissel told me all about it, Detective Jowd. About the manipulator. Yes, and it looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minister, too. Yeah. Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm, I'm the one who has to save him. Sissel, do you think... Do you think that's what happened to me, too? Hmm? What are you talking about, Lin? Don't tell me. You were manipulated, too? There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. That image of the one who shot me. But now I see the possibility of a new explanation. But, who is it? And why did they do it? That contraption was a birthday surprise for Camilla's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise there. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. Right, I knew it. See, Detective Jowd? 
No, I'm afraid I don't see. I told Detective Jout about it. I told him about seeing the exact same contraption tonight in a completely different place. That's very strange indeed. A junkyard on the edge of town? I've never even heard of this place. And what's more, I've never told a single soul about that contraption. You haven't? Hmm, that old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? Detective Jowd, you must have heard this name before. Temzik. The meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago. You were there. So you found out about that, did you? I hear that meteorite saved Lil Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true, doesn't it mean that you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jowd, you told me that ten years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? But it was that meteorite. I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away. No question about it. It was entirely my fault. I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. That's not true! You were trying to save me! Lin, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Huh? On that day ten years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place? Yes, in the police headquarters interrogation room. The worst sort of incident, a suspect who was being questioned escaped. Wow, I didn't know about that. I happened to be there, in the detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there! I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him. Bad. The warning shot made him panic. At the time, I was a young and green detective brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lin. It was all my fault. Detective Jowd? All I could see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lin. So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last ten years, I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way. I thought it was fate, my punishment for what I'd done. I painted pictures in my cell, nothing but portraits of people's faces, all the faces of the many people I'd met in my life and didn't want to forget. And tonight, I finished my last portrait, the final face I wanted to remember. The final face. The face of the man in the park that day. Wait just one minute. That can't be. I saw that painting. I saw the face you painted tonight. It was my face. Are you telling me I was the man in the park that time? That's right. That face of yours is the face I saw ten years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole. Of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene. B but hold on, Detective Jowd. That can't be true. I just met Cecil for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me. By the way, the name that I know the man in the park that day by isn't Cecil. What? For the first, from the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering. Who in the world is this guy? I... I...
Mr. Minister. Inspector Cabanella, where are you? Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. What? Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we've confirmed it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? And you know it wasn't my daughter who was abducted. Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life is a life, even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. What is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. What in the world? What's going on, Inspector Cabanella? The rock of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. And even now, the chain continues to grow even longer. Inspector Cabanella's call proved that to us. And the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? I'm even further from knowing that than when I started. <laughs>